Welcome to Magic Gathering Strat. I'm Bava, and we are going to get started here in just a second with a Born of the Gods pre-release event. Now we're ready to go. All right, so we're going to get a Born of the Gods pack first. And I'm going to try and get this nice and big right off the bat so that we can see everything we need to see. Okay. Um, what do we have? Plea for Guidance. Find two enchantments, put them into your hand, then shuffle your library. The Black Oak, uh, Siren... Ooh, I like this inspired ability. Whenever it becomes untapped, each opponent discards a card, um, then mills a card. That seems pretty fun. Um, Plea for Guidance costs six, which is a little rough. I need my timer there. Uh, Cyclops, Skyguard, Excoriate, Exile, Target, Tapped Creatures. A nice piece of white removal. Way of the Underworld Sneak. Don't love Tribute. Um, <clears throat> we're going to grab the Siren, I think, here. Um, so we can play with some fun Born of the Gods mechanics. And Archetype of Courage, I think, is the best archetype. Really, giving everybody first strike can be pretty amazing. Nobody ever wants to attack you. Um, the Everflame Eidolon's pretty sweet as well. We do have Asphyxiate, which is pretty much straight up removal in black. <clears throat> um, and that would go well with our Siren. Crypsis. Kind of fun. I think we're looking at Excoriate, Starbreaker, Destroy an Aura. Scouring Sands deals one damage to each creature your opponent's control. Scry one. Huh. Tromper's pretty good. That guy's not super great. Fall of the Hammer is pretty good. Um, we'll take the Asphyxiate here, I think, for a little black removal. All right, so Temple of Enlightenment. Um, here's the archetype for flying. A six mana, three two flyer. Oof. I don't know. Searing blood. There's another asphyxiate. I mean, we could just take asphyxiates all day, right? And we'd be okay with that. It's probably better than a six drop, three two. Even though it gives everything flying. Um, what else do we have? We have a Skirmisher. Fearsome Temper. We are Loyal Pegasus. Target creature. Return target non-land permanent. Hmm. That's interesting. Um, I think we're going to just take Asphyxiate. This is pretty much premium removal, even at common. Um, it doesn't help if they're already beating down its sorcery speed, destroy untapped creatures. So if they're attacking every turn, it's not going to help. But you can kill anything new that they get, or if you can stop them from attacking, you can kill whatever you want, more or less. All right, so Silent Sentinel. Grizzly Transformation's not bad. Um, Nyxborn Triton is pretty nice. Rage Monger. This guy's pretty cool. Sentinel's pretty good. Seven drop four six flyer. <clears throat> Searing Blood's gonna be tough it's with double black already if we tried to go black red and forget about the siren. We'd have double black and double red. That'd be difficult. Um don't love that Hypnotist at all, and I don't think I love that Eye Gouge at all. 
So I think I think I want the Triton more than the Eidolon here. Let's see. Tapping guys, a grave robber spider. That guy's cool. Hmm. As far as radiance, Griffin Dream Finder. The Nyxborn Eidolon's pretty good here. Um, let's do Stratus Walk. It does replace itself, and it works well with Heroic. And there's Sphinx's Disciple. Oh, man. He's a 5-mana 2-2 two -two flyer with Inspired. I think I'm going to take him really just to try out the Born of the Gods mechanics a little bit more. We're only going to get one pack of Born of the Gods to play with, so might as well go for it. Archetype of Finality. Um, is okay. I don't love it. I think we passed the white archetype, and I think that's the best one, honestly. Uh, Curious Follower, Siren of the Fanged Coast. So it's either a 4-4 four, four flyer for 5, <clears throat> or a game control. Claim of Erebos, no. I'm going to take the Servant of Timorit for a little bit more inspired fun. Who is that? Or the 5-drop. Uh, the We're way heavy on 3-drop, so we need to do something about that in our later packs. Um, Sudden Storm, this is a bad Frost Breath, right? With Scry. Um, it could work OK. Can't block unless you control another Minotaur, so this is a a bear with a downside. We also have Intimidate as another 3-drop. Um, all right, I'm going to take the Brawler um, to improve our Black Devotion a little bit and just to get some 2-drops. We need to diversify a little bit. Thassa's Rebuff. Counter target spell, where X is your devotion to blue. That's fun. That's not great, though. Not for us. Uh, Marsh Mist Titan could be well good for our devotion to black. Um, we could break Flood Tide Serpent, I guess, but I don't think we're going to break it and limit it very easily. Um, probably the Marsh Mist Titan is going to be good here, and we're just going to... We're going to go heavy black... <laughs> and stop everyone else from getting it, I think. All right, so we have uh, two more pieces of possible removal here. Necrobite. Death Touch and Regenerate. It's nice and versatile, or Weight of the Underworld. I think I take the weight of the underworld over the necrobite. This is always going to be useful. Necrobite's a little bit more conditional. Huh. Deals damage each creature we're flying equal to your devotion to green. I think we're just going to grab the sky reaping for the sideboard there. We want to have flying creatures. We don't want our opponent to kill flying creatures. Fearsome Temper. It's actually pretty good. Great Hearts, a 2-4 four for 4. We've seen those a lot. Loyal Pegasus is interesting. Target creature gets plus 1, plus 1, and gains indestructible until end of turn. I could see us playing Grizzly Transformation... Um, especially if we start seeing some good heroic stuff, I might want that. But again, three drops. 
We'll take the eye gouge. Um, it's a better sideboard card, I think. There's a few Cyclopses we have to watch out for. Enchant creature has gained three life. Stratus walk is just better. Oh, we missed it. All right, that's fine though. I wish to give you a little bit more time in the pre-releases to pick your cards. All right, so we're pretty married to black at this point with all that removal. We don't have to be in blue with the cards we have, so we're going to keep our options open for a second color. Um, Keepsake Gorgon, I love this card. Shipbreaker Kraken is pretty amazing, though. But I think I want, man, Nimbus Nyad's good too. I think I still just want to keep black to myself as much as possible and improve my devotion to black with the Gorgon. Um, hmm. Freakus Mender's good. Ordeal of Thas is good. Blood Toll Herpes is good. Probably the Ordeal of Thassa is better than the Blood Toll Harpy. We're seven creatures, so we're pretty good there. Um, and this can just take off, really. Um, there's Lightning Strike over here in red, but I'm pretty happy taking the Ordeal here. So there's a Cavern Lampad. There's a Return Centaur. No. The lamp pad's okay, but I'm not super happy with it. Farika's Cure is pretty good. Um, I think we're just going to pick it up. Over with the Bastille creature. Dissolve, Counterspell, does put us in a double blue, um, which is fine. Mnemonic Wall gets us some removal back. I play Counterspells horribly. I know that about myself. There's also the Boon of Erebos, which is pretty good. Um... I don't really want to dissolve. So I want either the Mnemonic Wall or the Boon of Erebos. Instant or Sorcery. Um, we'll just take the Boon here. Our Curve, curve could use some help. Baleful Eidolon, I do like that one. I like Cavern Lampad. Don't like Benthic Giant. Um, Sedge Scorpion and Time Defeat are going pretty late, so green could be pretty open here, I guess. Um, I also like Sip of Hemlock as a straight-up piece of removal. But I think I like the Eidolon more. Um, for the removal we have, we have a few good pieces of removal. Um, I'm going to take the idol on here. All right, so there's Sentry of the Underworld, which is good. This is great if we have anything. Ugh, which we don't really have anything. I like Rescue from the Underworld, though. It's fun. Flavor-wise, it's one of my favorite cards. Blue cards, we have those. Return Centaur. Fleet Feather Sandals are decent. Sentry is the best card. We don't seem like we're very much in white. Um, I'm going to grab the Rescue. If we get a Gary, he can really, that can really take off. All right, so Tormented Hero... Some good black cards here, really. Uh, we just, the good ones are three drops, right? So we can take the one drop and we can be aggressive. Um, with our removal, we can play more of a tempo game. 
Um, we're not too heavy those drops yet. Casting stuff that targets him is pretty good. Having flyers seems better than having him. Um, I'm going to take the harpy here over the tormented hero. I don't really love March of the Returned. I don't feel like I need Unknown Shores here. Lots of Minotaurs. Um, we'll take the Sentry here. And we could even just splash for that, I think, if we need to. Of all of these cards, he's kind of annoying. Savage Surge is a trick I don't like played against me. Um, Temple of Silence can help our splash into white, right? That's good. Um, Cavern Land Pad, it's nice to see that wheel. Spark Jolt's the only one of those cards that's somewhat annoying. Throw those over here. <clears throat> All right. Uh, so so far we're looking pretty good. Ooh, Agent of the Fates. I do like that game. There's another keepsake Gorgon though. Man. Um, rather destroy a creature than have them sacrifice a creature, but this can go off a number of times. Um, I've got Boon, I've got Ordeal, I've got some Bestow I can throw on this guy, so if they can't deal with it, um, it's going to be harder for them. Returned Phalanx is a, also a great card. Um, but I think it's got to be the agent right now. It's your deal with Heliod. Um, I think it's the returned failings here, and I'm pretty happy to see that. And it's foil. All right, so there's Erebos Emissary. We don't need... Good enough four drop. We don't need another rescue from the underworld. One is plenty. Blue cards. I do like Wave Crash Triton. Um, and then all's pretty good. We already have one cavern land pad, right? We don't need another one of those. Um Flesh Mad Steed is decent, but I think uh, the emissary is our best bet here. Mmm, Nimbus Nyad. Oh yeah. Yeah, I think that's pretty clear. Dark Betrayal could be a sideboard card, but Nimbus Nyad is gonna be played all the time. Alright, so we started off with good removal. We didn't get much after that, did we? But I'm okay with that. <clears throat> We're probably not splashing white at this point, even not for Century of the Underworld. I like this card, but it's not worth splashing a third color just for that. I'm saying that because we could get the Hopeful Idol on, but I don't think we will. There's an Omen Speaker there, which is another good two-drop for us. Counter something, they get a 2-2 two -two bird. Um, fate Foretold. Sort of between Fate Foretold and Omen Speaker, but I think it's, I think I want the Omen Speaker um, for a two drop. Ooh. Scourge Mark could get played. Hmm. It's pretty good. 
Oh man. Fade the Guardian. We don't need the Guardian. Yeah, let's take the Scholar, just because. Griptide. I like a Griptide. More than the lamp had. <clears throat> I think the Griptide's a better choice for us there. We have good creatures. Viper's Kiss. Our three drop spot is pretty premium right now. I don't think Felhide Minotaur makes it in for a three drop. Um, I think Viper's Kiss might not be in the main, but I think it's a better sideboard card. Um, it can stop Monstrous. It can stop Mana Geeks. Um, it can stop a lot of stuff. We don't care about any of these too much. Certainly don't care about that. Mm. Counter a blue spell. Someone's probably got pretty good blue going on. Take the boon. Fate foretold wield. Messenger of speed. And an island. All right, we have some good cards to work with. We'll have to narrow this down a bit. Okay. Let's see what we have here. All right. As much as I would like both the Sentry and the Scholar, I don't think either of them actually make us splash white. I think going straight black blue. It's going to be better. I'm a weenie about three colors, and I can get away with it, and I think I can get away with it here. Um, Eye Gouge is going to be a sideboard card. I think Viper's Kiss might be a sideboard card, too. <clears throat> Fate Foretold sort of a maybe. Let's see. Omen Speaker's in, or Deal's in, Eidolon's in. Brawler might be out. Eidolon, Failing, Scourge Mark, Cure. Nimbus Nyad, Nyxborn, Triton. Okay, sweet. She's better. That's okay. Uh, Harpy. Yeah, I like the Servant of Timorant, and I especially like it if you bestow something on it. Um, I think that guy can make a difference as a 3-drop. Plus, as I mentioned a couple times already, I do want to try some of these uh, Born of the Gods mechanics like Inspired, so we might as well give that a shot. Agent's good, Double Asphyxiate's great, and our first pick, Siren, gets to stay. I love that it's a a 3-drop 2-1 flyer isn't bad, right? And having Inspired and Evasion uh, with a pretty good Inspired ability is pretty good, so I'm pretty happy to have that. Griptide, yes. Lampad, Lampad, Emissary, Wait, Disciple. Oh man, I'm not sure about this guy. I just think about that. Um, I wish this targeted, at least we could trigger Heroic off of it. But we can't trigger Heroic um, out of the graveyard, unfortunately. We don't have... Is that our only Enter the Battlefield ability? We can use it to reset the Gorgon. 
um, but we don't have any other enter the battlefield effects aside from opponent speaker. Which makes Rescue from the Underworld a little less exciting. We didn't really hit anything that cared too much about Black Devotion, just the Marsh Mist Titan. So it could be that the Rescue's gone, really. Um, let me just see. If we take these out, we have room. We could use some more creatures. The Disciple or the Brawler. The Disciple is probably better just for being a flyer and giving you the possibility of card advantage in the late game. It's a pretty good curve. That's 23, that's 15 creatures. Um, <clears throat> let's see, we have Phalanx, Omen Speaker, Two Drops. Might not need the double boons, but they're pretty nice. We've only got one guy with heroic, so we don't need to worry too much about keeping something like Scourge Mark, which really shines with heroic. Uh, we've got plenty of bestow. Bestow. Wait, Griptide, Gorgon, Disciple, Titan. Um, yeah, I think this seems pretty good. A little creature protection. We've got some nice pieces of removal. Um, we've got lots of bestow guys, which I really like. Um, I think this is going to work just fine for us. That's a pretty good curve, too. So let's see. We're pretty heavy black. We're smashing a little bit of blue. What do we see? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. That's a crap little black. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah. <clears throat> Twelve and five, huh? I think 11 and 6 is fine. I do want to. I want to make sure as much as I can to try and hit a blue um, to get Omen Speaker on turn two if I need to. Just make sure I don't miss a blue um, for these guys here. So 11 Swamp should be fine to get double black. I might not get it in time for Farika's Cure on turn two, um, but it's still it's a lot of swamps, so we should be okay. All right, well, there we go. Let's save deck as that seems fine. Ooh. All right, close that off and we'll submit. All right, that looks pretty good.